Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to make this crocheted beaded bracelet. And I use the same method that I used to make this crocheted beaded pendant. I'm going to work with 100% cotton, worsted weight, creme de la creme, and a size 3 millimeter crochet hook. Start with chain 8. Slip stitch to join and form a ring. Chain two, one, two. Make 15 double crochet in the ring. Okay, I've made 15 double crochet in the ring. Slip stitch to join. Chain three, one, two, three. Single crochet in the next stitch and in the next stitch going to repeat that all the way around. So chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the next stitch and the next stitch. Repeat all the way around. Okay, I've made all eight loops in the ring and at the end fasten off with a long yarn end. To make this bracelet you're going to make three of these motifs and it's the same motif that was used when we made this pendant. Now I'm going to bring this yarn end into the center of this first loop, like that. And we have eight loops, so this loop and this loop are going to be attached to the next motif, like this. We'll find the two center loops, bring these together, insert the hook through both motifs, and pull the yarn end through. Now pull it through several times. Now we're just going to slip stitch over until we get over here. Slip stitch. Just slip stitching through one of the motifs. Bring both of these loops together. I'm going to pull the yarn through both of these loops several times. And that will attach the two motifs together. And pull that yarn end through, fasten off. When you're finished, weave all these yarn ends into the finished work. For my wrist, I only need three motifs. And on this end, I've made an extension. I did that by attaching the yarn through one of the loops. Pull it through. Chain three, one, two, three. Single crochet in the center of the next loop. chain one and turn. Make four single crochet in this loop. One, two, three, and four. To chain three, one, two, three, turn the work, single crochet all the way over in this end. So single crochet chain one and turn, make four single crochet in that chain three loop. So to make this extension you would just continue to do chain three, single crochet over in the end stitch, turn, make four single crochets in the chain three loop. Fasten off. I threaded the yarn end into a needle, so a shank style button. Like that, and then it can button into the opposite side. And now I'm going to sew some beads all over these motifs. Just got some white thread. I threaded it into a needle, and I have some blue beads. Okay, I've worked all the way around. I'll take a couple of stitches just to secure. And I'm going to sew this larger bead in the center. I'm going to fill in here with some smaller bead beads. So I'm going to pick up about six beads, like that. And I want these to pop up in little loops. So I'm going to take a stitch very close to where my needle came out. Like that. 
to make them stand up like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill all the way around. Okay, I've gone ahead and done all of these loopy areas. And because I had eight beads, I did eight little clusters. And now I'm going to work some beadwork all around the outside. And for that, I'm going to put a brown and a clear and a brown. And I'm just going to put them on, lay them against the side, and take a stitch at the very end like that. And I picked up a brown and a clear and a brown. And I'm just going to place those down to see how long it is and attach them. Okay, I've worked all the way around. I've added those beads. Now I find that there's a lot of the background showing here. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to sew one row of these purple beads all the way around. And I have placed them just below the blue beads. Now I'm just going to fill in in between these blue beads with some more of these little loopy beads. Okay, I have threaded my beads on. Go through very close to where the thread came in. Just take another little stitch there to secure it. Like that. And I'm making these loops two beads longer than these, so I'm putting eight beads on here. I've gone around and added one little loop in between each of these blue beads. You can see if you wanted to make a bracelet by just replicating three or four of these, you could do that as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and do some beads on here. Okay, I have gone around and I have alternated two little brown beads and a blue bead. And then in the center, I just did one of these clear beads. I think just to finish it off, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in these clear beads. Okay, I have finished that. Now I'm just going to do it on this side. And there's the finished bracelet. Button that on like that. You'd have a nice bracelet. And it only took me about one hour to make this, which is quite surprising. So it will be a good rainy afternoon project. If you added a chain to each end instead of crocheting these extensions, you could use it as a statement necklace. Or if you made the little extension pieces longer, you could use it as a headband.